Hello, I'm Dave Jarvu. You may recognise me from Cambridge Come Dine With Us and the blind edition of Married at First Sight. Welcome to Least Haunted. For many years, this area has been a hotbed of spectral sightings. One, however, has been seen more than any other. The White Lady of Witchwood Woodwoods has been here for over 200 years and has even been tied to a series of horrible deaths that have happened here. Although in the last few months, sightings have all but stopped. I'm here with an expert to shed light on this dark mystery. Hello. Well, hello. I'm Graham Most. Nice to meet you. Please introduce yourself to our viewers. Uh, I own the 14th biggest ghost organisation in the east of England alone, um, the Global Researchers of Paranormal Entities. That's excellent. What can you tell me about the infamous White Lady? Well, you see, the White Lady, she's often seen wearing uh, a white dress um, with long black hair uh, or other similar garments, but the White Lady in this area was said to be uh, murdered by her husband after he found about her secret lover. Um, and sadly, this is a typical story for the White Lady, as their legends often revolve around the murder and betrayal. All these years haunting this very area and she just disappears. Has anything like this happened before? Uh, it's a very rare occurrence, but uh, none of them end well. Um, and a displaced paranormal entity is a very dangerous situation, so we need to attempt communication as soon as possible uh, so we can learn more about paranormal entities and uh, hopefully answer the biggest question of all, what happens when we die? Luckily, one of our local newsletter subscribers has spotted the ghost in a local church. When we got to the church, we met up with Kim Reaper, who had an encounter with the white lady a few days ago. I caught up with her to find out about this encounter. Well, I was working here late night shift at the church when suddenly it went freezing cold. So I reached out for my jacket and it flew across the room like someone was grabbing it. And then I looked at the corner and I seen a lady dressed all in white. Being subscribed to the GROP's program, I knew what it was straight away and I got the hell out of there. And I still don't have my jacket. Please, if you find my jacket, call 077. Thank, thank you, thank you very much. Well, thank you for returning to such a haunted location. I definitely have a sense we're being watched. Um, I think the ghost might be in here. Now we have to do the dangerous thing. Shall we allow it power? Shall we allow it power? Shall we allow it power? This machine uses spiritual wave profiling stereophonic radio heads to find the ghost so we can take it to its corporeal form if she doesn't kill us first. It's getting violent. Pass me the book. I can't find it. Show yourself. Why are you here? What do you want? Show yourself. What's she saying? I don't know. Let me unscramble it. Well, there you have it. Something came up. Well, this just goes to show that ghosts may be terrifying, but they were once people like you and me. While sadly we may not have solved the mysteries of the afterlife this episode, there is always next week. Don't forget to join us on the next episode of Least Haunted. Catch you later. Next time, I officially join 
the global researchers of paranormal entities. We visit a house in Peterborough which is haunted by the ghost of an old German man. Scheiser!